Hello Capricorn, I am sorry this is a, a double so I will give you guys a bonus because I don't know what happened but the computer just like turned off it's, you know, it's crazy stuff but let's get to it alright so thank everybody and let's get this show on the road okay alright what's going on with the Capricorn 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 love reading Capricorn love reading November 6th through 13th 2017 November 6th through 13th, 2017. Love reading. What's going on? What's going on? Okay. So it uh, seems like uh, we might uh, be dealing with somebody who maybe just got a mental connection with somebody or physical. I don't feel like you communicate much with this person. Or this person doesn't communicate much with you. Or maybe it's just like a current thing, okay? Capricorn love reading, Capricorn love reading. All right, so, hmm. It seems like somebody may have been telling you or may, you may have been telling somebody like, hey, I want a more spirit, uh, uh, sexual relationship or, hey, I want a, more of a connection with you. But I feel like it, when I see this, it makes me feel like it's falling on deaf ears. So it's like one person only want that kind of relationship and the other one like, like, give me more, give me more. I need more. I don't want just that, you know. Mm. So it seems like the one, the person who wants the just a sexual relationship has a sacrifice to make. And since this is your reading, I'm feeling like somebody's trying to make you sacrifice something. Oh, okay, yeah. So it seems like it may be a relationship. It could be a. Re what is this sacrifice? Let me stop guessing. What is this sacrifice for the Capricorn? Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> but whatever this sacrifice is, somebody may be talking about them in your dreams. <laughs> like they. They may be using their dreams to. Uh, Try to get you to make a sacrifice, okay? What is this? What is this? Dreams about. Okay, so it seems like <laughs> this definitely correlates with the other video, and it's crazy because now I see why, possibly why it was cut off. But somebody wants you to, to stop talking to your ex. I feel like you may be still friends with your ex, and somebody that you're dealing with now is telling you that they don't want you talking to them anymore because they think you're dealing with them this is basically saying that you may be dealing with them you know there's something unseen or this could just be what they're um trying to manipulate you with they feel like y'all have more of a connection if this person was gone okay but they keep telling you that they want more sex or um connection with you and they want you to give up your ex to do this okay all right. All right, so it seems like you may have been with this person for at least six months to a year. Mm. And if you haven't, I mean, you may have known them longer, but the relationship, I don't feel like, I don't feel like it's that old. Unless you guys just really don't see each other a lot, Okay. Yikes. All right, so it seems like you guys love each other. This is weird. <laughs> so you guys love each other. Somebody tell you that they, uh, they want more connection. Yeah, they want more connection. So basically, it seemed like somebody is falling in love. But I feel like love was already there for you. But it's just like, this is the way you like to be. But I feel like this person is just falling in love that you're dealing with. And they want they want you to change now. They want the situation to change. Hmm. Okay. 
Mm. So this makes me feel like the, the person was just coming in and giving you what you want and left. But now they want things to change. Now they don't feel like you should be friends with your ex. Now they should, you know, they just trying to change up everything that you was doing before them. All right. So yeah, um, it seems like this person, no, you may be giving gifts to this person too. Yeah, it seems like somebody may like you quite a bit, but it got it has a lot to do with what you do for them, um, physically and uh, materialistic stuff. Okay, but they do love you. Okay, so I guess this ain't that bad. It's just somebody that you in a relationship with telling you that you should stop being friends with your ex. They don't want you dealing with your ex anymore. You know, but they are using a little bit of manipulation to do it. But it's like, um, it may be time. All right. So, what's going on with the Capricorn? Okay. So, it seems like somebody's trying to build some kind of stable foundation. But somebody doesn't want to get married. So, it seems like somebody wants to go to the next level. And the other person is just not ready yet. Okay. All right. What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn. November 6th through 13, 2017, Capricorn. November 6th to 13, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Jeez. Mm. Okay, so this is making me feel like the love is here, but it's not shaky. I mean, the love is here, but it's shaky. And then it makes me feel like, uh, Capricorn, you may be waiting for this ex to tell you something. That's why you didn't let them go yet. So I feel like you may be a little bit still in love with your ex. And I feel like that's why your current person is so um, keen on you getting rid of them. Stop talking to them, not dealing with them. All right. Mm. Here we go. Capricorn is always talking about money, but this could be your card. It could just be you outside of yourself right now. But I'm, I'm also feeling like... I feel like you might have gave them something in the past. It could be materialistic things, and you waiting for them to talk back to you. Or you might be using this to talk back to you. Mm. Okay, so it seems like this relationship with this ex, I feel like this is the ex. It might be unrecoverable. There's nothing going there. The The love was shaky. And it seems like you may have to take an L when it comes to some kind of money in the past. I feel like a whole lot of money come went out and you're just hoping for love. The money went out, but I don't, it's no... I feel like it's no recovery, okay? So it seems like you're holding on for this new person for something. I mean, for nothing. So uh, here it's just like somebody is being patient and kind and just doing the right thing. And I feel like this, I feel like this could be everybody in this. But let me read the book. All right, what is this? Eight of Cups. I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but I read these straight out of the book to ensure you get your full message, all right? So, Eight of Cups is, it may be time to move on and start new plans. Do not let your pride make, um, stop you from making a decision. So, this makes me feel like, um, you want to move on to another place, but it seems like you might be tied up. In the past relationship with money. Okay. Like I'm not letting this go. You know that person owes me. You know. But I sort of feel like it's more of an excuse. Than anything. Just to um try to. Be around this person more. And this could be. The person doing this to you also. It's not just. You doing this to them. Okay. All right, so we got the Ten of Cups reverse. It says, a card of violation, death of some time, gambling, and thrill-seeking. 
So it seems like this might have been somebody that you was dealing with. Or it could be you or it could be the cause of the end of the relationship, you know? It's like a bunch of gambling. You know, they're an irresponsible person. Somebody just blowing the house money on all kinds of stuff all over the place. And it's like, you're like, hey, you're going to have to pay me for that. But they like, uh, yeah, kind of like turn their back on you. All right, so we got the Four of Swords reversed. And it says, clarity, insight, perspective, and sanction execution. So it seems like that... Somebody was definitely planning this move. Somebody was planning to blow all the money and take off. You know, and I feel like the ex, the ex is definitely on your mind now. But it's still like you won't let them go because you love them. So y'all got this like, it's like a mental love triangle. Like some kind of energy connection love triangle here. The person that you would not, they definitely can feel that you are um, still in love with your ex. That's why they like you need to cut him or her off and cut all ties, you know, get rid of them or I'm leaving, you know? All right. So we got the King of Cups here. It's like a person of great education with many interests and abilities indicates you will receive advice, generosity from someone soon. So it seems like to help you get over this situation, your partner or somebody you may know, your current partner or somebody you may, you may know, may offer you whatever you was lost in this situation so you can move on. You know, they don't want you um, sitting back there trying to deal with this. So, but that's all I have, guys. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs if you want to press or read and check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that. Have a wonderful, wonderful week.